yeah hi everyone welcome back to sk technologies so as we are continuing the swap memory sessions so in this session i will try to explain you how to set up this swap so technically how we are implementing this swap so we are giving instructions to the kernel and the kernel will be considering as a secondary memory from the hard disk okay so completely we are using the hard disk only guys with the help of the hard disk only we are creating creating the memory so i clearly explained in the previous session about memory and hard disk what are those purposes and what is the main difference okay so if anybody not sure about the memory and hard disk please watch my previous session so if you want to configure the swap memory so you have to follow these steps fine so then you can go and configure so you already know about the raw disk how to create the raw disk and arrange into the server fine so you can go and create a volume from AWS console then you can go and attach that server attach that volume into it with your EC2 instance okay so this already we discussed guys in the NFS session we discussed and disk partition LVM so in all those topics we discussed about this one so now the second thing is you have to make the partition okay so partition it's very simple that is also we discussed already making the partition okay so making the partition so so here change the partition id okay so change the partition id into swap id this is the main thing i will tell you then create the create the swap thereafter enable the swap this is also very important sometimes people who only will create and they are finding out they are going for the validations okay so enable the swap thereafter you can go and validate whether it's a swap created or not that's it guys so these are the steps you can go and follow these steps so technically i will tell you all the things okay so then we will see so let me log in my server i already created my easy to mission and let me log in with easy to user so let me switch to obviously this is administration task so definitely you might be having your admin credentials root credentials okay the first part i already done i created my raw disk and i attached so let me show you lsblk see this is my raw disk guys so this is the another raw disk but running with the operating system but this is the new disk i already with the size of 4 gb this is the disk type okay now directly i will jump into the second uh, step which is the making the partition we know already we are using the f disk utility to make the partitions okay so f disk slash dev slash xvdf so let me go inside the f disk page you know how to create okay let me print so 4 gb no partitions so here what i will do i will create one partition so let me create with n i will select prim primary then one first sector default so here i will mention 2 gb guys 2 gb okay partition is extension signature okay you can ignore that so remove the signature you can press y because the file system sundal created on the same partition actually same disk that is the reason it is showing so partition new partition has been created with 2 gb okay so here partition creation done also completed let me save this that's it now if you go with lsblk 
see this is my raw disk okay on top of this disk i made some partition with a 2 gb size so this is the name slash dev slash xvdf1 fine now third thing is very very important so this is the main thing actually so changing the partition id into the swap id actually you are having a partition ids guys so let me so here onwards very important so first two we already discussed so what is the id 82 partition swap partition id is the 82 okay so swap id equal to 82 by default you are having the partition type as a line x which is a 83 if you go and check if you go and check so f disk iphon l slash dev slash xv df see default line x type id is 83 now we have to change this 83 to 82 how to change again you have to jump into the f disk page xvdf then make the print first then you can use the option called t or if you want to list out all the ids go with l see these all are ids guys so many ids are there out of this you just remember line x id swap id extended id lvm id this is fair enough see swap is 82 now how to change simply type t and it's already only currently there is only one partition that's the reason it's selected by default one partition selected partition one now i it is asking the exa code or alias also you can give or exa code you can go with exa code so like 82 hit, hit enter see changed the type of the partition from line x to line x swap that's it verify p see id got changed to line x swap then let me save the changes w option that's it let me verify again f disk iphone l slash dev slash xvdf see id has been changed okay id has been changed that's it third step done now how to create the swap you can if you want to create you can use this command simple command mk swap partition name so in my case partition name is mk swap slash dev slash xvdf1 that's it with this help of with help of this command you are making the swap swap slash dev slash xvdf1 that's it guys swap has been created now how to verify before any poll if you go and check the free iphone m command this is the command to display your physical memory details along with the swap details after just creating the swap it won't be showing in this output see swap 00 I told right we created the EC2 mission with 1 GB so 950 means around 1 GB still swap memory is 0 because we just created we haven't enabled how to enable swap on this is the command swap on and partition name slash dev slash xvdf1 done now can verify see with the size 2 GB now the swap is showing that's it guys so this is the way to create the swap and how to, how to enable you can use this command called swap on then your swap name it's not a partition now you can give as a swap name okay and how to validate you can validate simply free iphone m command free command actually that is the command is free option m means it will display the size in the megabytes that's it so in the next video i will try to install the sonar cube application then we will observe the the swap memory consuming 
utilization details we will see okay thank you guys